one Sonny talked about. Hello, what is this? Is that a mole rat? Sure, let's go stab a mole rat. Oh, it's a scorpion. Aww, it's cute. It has the same colors of a mole rat, come on. Oh. Don't go that way? Okay. Issue here is quest location is there. And so I'm curious. What do you expect me to do? Let's take a save. Let's see, can I actually stealth my way past like a death claw? World map. Yeah, my quest location is up here. Will this actually be my grave? Oh, those are just blow flies. Hang on. Ah, uh, it's not laser pistol. Where, oh, where is my varmint rifle? Yeah, those are just blow flies. Darn. Okay, now you notice me. And apparently they're all ignoring me. I guess. Wow, I can't hit for shit. You can stop reloading now. Alright. What the heck was I looking for again? It was some type of weird fruit. There we go. Oh, it's probably this stuff. Tree, it's on the tree. Okay. I'm guessing this is where I was dug up. Or dug up. Oh, you're frenzied. And dead. Alright. Nothing on him. Found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless bauble, but rumors have it that some collectors will pay dearly for them. I mean, they're probably going to be useful. Are these the equivalent of the bobbleheads? Uh, cigarette buds off the ground. Yes. Where are they? So he shot me... Here. I'm just gonna make the Benny quest my main quest for just a minute. Oh, and I have to talk first.
I should jump off the edge into my glorious death. Hmm. Oh, see you later, Fluffy. By the lamp, where are you? What are you talking about? Unless I'm complete. Oh. This lamp. Is it this lamp? There they are, okay. How many fell through the world? Let's find out later. As right now we're finishing up this main quest. Or tutorial. And I am dying even further internally. Honestly, I feel the need for music, so I might actually install one of those music mods so we can have something playing in the background as well. That's royalty free. There's probably plenty of them. In addition to the unofficial patches, but I gotta find time for that, which will probably actually be Monday. Nothing's trying to kill me yet. And there's probably a bunch of people screaming in the comments below, Hey, go get the items, go get the items. Trust me, I'm not going to get all of them. I'm going to do things mostly my way. Mostly. Not starting yet, because this is just the tutorial, but I am going to... That was weird. I am going to try to make use of explosives eventually, as promised. For the quite loud, stealthy entrances. Ooh. That's a can. Suave Gambler's Hat. Wild, wild wasteland indeed. I know I could put you on. If you have a shovel, you can dig up a grave. Now see the hill to the left that is where the coyote cave is at. Go in there for the recharge rifle. Coyote cave is in here. Hopefully I'm going even in a remotely right way. There seems to be a lot of things moving around here. Oh, there's the coyotes. Well, I should probably get a decent gun out before dealing with them. You may revise your character. Um, let us, oh wait. We're keeping this the same. <sighs> one, two, one, two, three. Drop endurance twice, drop that once. Increase agility, increase intelligence. Done. It was drop science for repair? Hmm. No energy weapons. I'll actually do repair instead, just so my repair skill isn't terrible. Skilled Wild Wasteland. Finish travel onward. Oh, wait. Well, might as well start. Did it miss? There we go. Now it actually hit something. Detected, he says. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll just stick to the varmint rifle for the last one just because I wasted three grenades on this.
All right. It took you long enough. Discovered several locations. We got fast traveling again. Well, you better run, apparently. This is a dungeon. I should not really start these. Oh, excellent. More skill points. Uh, you know what? I'm doing way too many things. I got the Coyote Cave available. I'll be back for it later. Let's just finish up the main quest. As I said, let's finish up the quest first before me going on scatterbrained adventures at the behest of all the voices of Twitch. I can understand that. We'll go there next time. Currently, I need to go under the clock and sleep. Ooh. Briefcase. Oh, useless briefcase. Briefcase nonetheless. More geckos. Is she dying to geckos? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your... Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Fair enough, as that gecko ran away. <sighs> so, back to the bar we go, and hopefully can put an end to this quest line. Toolbox. Oh, why not pick up the wrench? I don't think the wrench is used for anything. So I should actually check to see what does the canteen even do? Aside from those random, you take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. I'm assuming it's like some continuous buff that you get well, as long as you have the canteen in your hat pocket. But I can't be too certain. Feels good to be starting a Fallout game again. Also, I should probably stop staring at my feet. Oh, by going there, you start a new quest line, Brain Boy. It heals you. Okay. Well, I'll enter the saloon and. It heals you at random times. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought those two statements were related, Poudreau. So I'll pop in, say hi, start the quest. Done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Hey. And away he goes. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Huh. 
Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Joe is a powder ganger and he is an asshole. Okay, that's all I need to know. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. I'll murder him in his sleep. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Fine by me. Join the chat side. Just murder people on their whim. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons Greetings did not come to before, by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. All right. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Not gonna ask to kill Cobb. That's All a right. bad idea. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. I'd probably never come back here Ringo again. would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Eh. More, uh, who needs more enemies? I need more enemies. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good... Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. <laughs> Murder him. <sighs> I can't tell if chat's trying to kill me now or not. Anyway. Be careful As there. unfortunate as it is, McDurpin, you did encounter me basically towards the end of my stream. Um, well, I'm definitely going to need sneak considering I keep getting discovered. I think, hang on, where's my lockpicking skill? I'll take it up to a nice 90, put explosives up to 50. Barter? Speech, I need more speech. And I get a perk, okay. Experience points are earned, no. Three times as long, lady killer is always good. Friend of the night. When darkness falls, confirmed bachelor. 
light touch. Hmm. I mean, that's also fair. I think I might just do intense training. Because not, uh... Most of your enemies are male. I could either do confirmed bachelor or lady killer. Most enemies are male. Damn it. Hmm. This hurts. This choice hurts me already. I don't have any coins on me, do I? Oh, flip a coin. In shining armor is a broken perk, never get it. Uh, ladies, heads, tails, men. Men it is. Okay, well, guess what? Zalrock, Dark Alchemist, and Abco are all homosexuals. Hope you all enjoy it. Radio. All right, good. Yes, the radio is turned off. Good. So my character's homosexual. Oh, well, we have decided that quite early on. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed watching, and unfortunately, McDurpin, I apologize that you had ended up arriving so late to the party, but I really must get to sleep. So when we come back, I'll probably have several mods installed for bug fixes, and to actually give me the borderless windowed mode that I so desire. And when that happens, it'll be next Saturday. See you all then. And this is the end of the stream.